There was a message in the chat room wanting me to ask Jordan about Helena Blavatsky and his opinion of her, knowing that he's read her work and he's endorsed her work in the past. But there's so much conspiracy out there about this isn't even his real name, that his real name is Russell Pine and that he got the name Jordan Maxwell from Blavatsky's work, um, a character or emanation by the name of Jordanus Maximus out of one of her writings. And so he took that name from that. Is it true? Do not know. Uh, people claim that Jordan Maxwell is in the Illuminati, that he's out to spread false information, things like that. There's so many videos exposing him. And I think, quite frankly, Jordan Maxwell has seen a lot of this work and he's grown tired of it. So when I asked him about Blavatsky, I asked him, I said he was a fan, basically saying, you know, you're a fan of the work. And he didn't like when I put put those words together. He didn't like me saying that he was a fan of Blavatsky. And he kind of blew up and kind of set the record straight a little bit. But I will say that Jordan Maxwell is from uh, the Gulf Breeze slash Pensacola, Florida area. And there are two roads that cross when you cross the roads and you cross Jordan and Maxwell Street that cross. I thought that was interesting being uh, in the city that he's from. I asked him about that in a, in a private meeting I had with him, and uh, he didn't really go into much detail about it. But anyway, check this clip out. So, we, have some, we have some questions coming through in the chat room, and I want to make sure I ask some of these. Uh, some fans are, are here, and they want to know your opinion of Blavatsky because they know you're a fan of her work. And what, what does her work mean to you? I'm not a fan of Blavatsky. But when I am in front of an audience and somebody brings her up, intellectually, I know who she is. I've read her work. And so I am bright enough to understand what she was saying, where she was from, her culture, and what she was doing. Nobody said I loved her and I was following her, but I'm not stupid. I know exactly what she was doing. I know precisely what she was saying, and I understand it. And so I'm just trying to be honest. Well, the last time anybody was honest, they got nailed to a cross. Mm -hmm. So when I hear the word Blavatsky, I first of all understand she was not stupid. The, the scripture says that the demonic world there's a scripture very pertinent that says the sons of this world are, are the sons of this world, a world system, are wiser than the children of light. Meaning, the people who run this planet are far, far smarter than you will ever be. So if you think you're going to do battle with the prince of darkness, you better go back and do your homework because you don't have what it takes. You're not smart enough to deal with the powers of darkness. Well, how, the Pope in Rome. How do we do that, is though, Jordan? Smart enough. Like, if we can't do it on our own strength, how do we no. deal? How not do we at deal? All. Not at all. The very word faith today, if you understand the word faith, and Christians do not, they have never understood the word faith. Today, Christianity talks about faith. I like what Rodney Dangerfield said about faith. He said, faith is that wonderful quality. These are not my words. This is what Rodney Dangerfield said many years ago. Faith is that wonderful quality that allows you to believe something that you know is bullshit. So when you talk about faith, faith is such, uh, the word faith is actually translated credulity. Mm -hmm. credulous meaning that you believe something that's why if you go to a new church the Christians in that church will say are you a believer and, the, and we have books in Christianity talk about the believers house of faith and the believers book of faith believer believer means you don't know anything you're ignorant ill-informed unread and downright stupid and that's why you're crawling on your knees trying to stay alive and are being laughed at, mocked, 
by the Illuminati masters of this world who are laughing at you and mocking you and placing you in a position of slavery. Why? Because you're stupid. You're ignorant, ill-informed, and you love the lies. You love the lies, the sex, the entertainment, the beer. You love your sports. You love the world. And yet Jesus, the scripture said, the world was not worthy of him. So when you are interested in talking about Blavatsky, then you better know who she was and what she was doing. So my position on Blavatsky is very clear. I'm not a follower of Blavatsky, but I'm intellectually aware that when somebody is saying something, I don't care who they are, if it's the truth, and I know it's the truth because I've already proved it, and I see it as truth, I give them their, their due. Yeah. Blavatsky said many things which were absolutely flawlessly true. It doesn't mean she loved the God, she loved God, and she was holy and righteous. No, nobody said that. I just said there were certain things she said which are true. And intellectually, I understand what she was saying because I've read her work. But you give me any damn name. I am intellectually interested to know what people are doing. I want to know what they have said. I want to know who's financing them. I want to know where they've come from. I want to know. And the only way you're going to learn anything is if you stop, uh, pro, uh, what's the word, pontificating, because, you know, I, I think it was Isaac Asinoff said, I can, uh, no, Plato, it was Plato who said, I can understand when a child is afraid of the dark. What I can't understand are adults who are afraid of the light. And that's why today I understand what Blavatsky was saying, and many things she said were true. It doesn't mean she was from God. It doesn't mean she was holy. And it doesn't mean I'm following her. But intellectually, I've read her, and a lot of things she said were true. So if you want to talk about Blavatsky, let's talk about Blavatsky, what she said, and what was absolutely true. So I am not a follower of Blavatsky. I'm not a follower of, of anybody in this world. But I do admit when I see something which is true and someone says it, then it was true, that I don't mind admitting it. I'm free and open. Know the truth and it will set you free. So I'm not afraid of offending God. I'm afraid of being stupid and religious and bigoted and ill-informed. Because why? Because propaganda does not deceive you. Propaganda helps you to deceive yourself. If you enjoyed listening to this podcast segment, be sure to listen to the entire episode by clicking the video to your right. Also, we are on iTunes. You can download the MP3 versions as well. Be sure to subscribe for future episodes.